One of the most common things people ask about is calibration. That might sound a bit technical, but it's nothing to worry about. A hive radiator valve maintains the temperature in a room by restricting or increasing the amount of water let into the radiator. To do this properly, the valve needs to learn how much pressure to open and close the valve for that particular radiator. That's what your hive radiator valve is doing during calibration. If your hive radiator valve isn't calibrated, it will take longer for your radiator to heat up. It might also cause the temperature to exceed the target you have set. Calibration is an automatic process. Your hive radiator valve will usually calibrate itself in the background, so long as your heating is on regularly. If you want to speed the calibration process up, just open the Hive app. Select the valve you want to calibrate and tap Calibrate Now. This will kick off a calibration. During this time, the Hive radiator valve will methodically let the radiator heat and cool. You just need to make sure the heating is on long enough for the Hive radiator valve to learn when the valve is open or closed. This can take up to four hours. It's best to start when your system is already cool. Maybe in the morning when the heating has been off overnight. First, turn your main heating thermostat on. Set a high target temperature so the heating doesn't go off during calibration. Now tap Calibrate Now in the Hive app and leave it to do its thing. You'll be able to see in the Hive app when the calibration has completed. Normally, your Hive radiator valves will only need to calibrate when they're first installed but there are a few situations where they may need to recalibrate after you change the batteries, for example. As with the first calibration, you can just leave the valves to do it themselves, or you can kickstart the process by clicking Calibrate Now in the Hive app. Maybe your Hive radiator valves won't calibrate, or maybe your radiator is still heating when it should be off. This means the Hive radiator valve is having trouble finding the opening and closing point on the radiator's valve body. If you're sure the heating has been on long enough for calibration to complete, up to four hours, then the most likely cause is a problem with the valve body on the radiator itself. Here's a quick test. Set the Hive radiator valve to five degrees centigrade, the lowest temperature, then turn your heating on at the main thermostat. If the radiator is heating up, then the valve is not sealing properly, meaning when fully closed, it is still letting hot water into the radiator. But before calling a plumber or heating engineer, try this bit of DIY. Take off the Hive radiator valve and look at the pin at the top of the valve body on the radiator. Sometimes these can get stuck. Try pressing down on it with a coin. If it's not moving freely, try using some lubricant like WD-40. If that doesn't do the trick, it's probably best to call in a professional to take a look at your radiator. Once you've installed your Hive radiator valves, make sure they have calibrated. After that, it's time to see what they can do. Open your Hive app and you can set schedules. Leave it on a manual temperature, turn it off completely or set a boost. There are a few different ways that you can use our Hive radiator valves. Have a room you don't use often and don't want to waste energy heating it. You can install a Hive radiator valve to make sure you are only heating the room when it's in use. The more Hive radiator valves you have, the greater the control you can achieve. If you have them installed on most of your radiators, you can set each room to the temperature you want. Hive actions are easy to set up in the Hive app and they make it very simple to get your smart home working just how you like it. For example, I'm going to create a working from home action. I'll set it up so all the downstairs radiators have a target of 21 degrees centigrade. Upstairs radiators will be an energy saving 7 degrees centigrade. Plus, I'll automatically set the office lamp to be just right and I'll tell my Hive Active plug to turn on the laptop charger for two hours. So whenever I'm working from home, I just need to tap the Hive action. It's very easy to do, but really handy. 